Hello again. I wasn't planning on making another cooking video, but seeing as vlogs are usually videos about what people do with their days, I figured you'd rather see the cooking bit than not the eating bit. It also happens to be someone's birthday, so we're going to make them a special treat from their childhood. Rice Krispie Squares with Jersey Caramels. More on them in a minute. But let's measure out our ingredients. First off, Rice Krispies, or Rice Bubbles, or whatever your stupid country calls them. We're going to need 200 grams of these. Sit back and enjoy the ASMR. Next, butter. The recipe I'm looking at says 45 grams, but this pack very conveniently has 50 gram sections marked on the outside. Much easier. <laughs> Guess that's that then. Now, what else is there? Ah yes, marshmallows. I managed to get some lovely big white ones. We're going to need 300 grams and this bag is 300 grams. Perfect. No need to double check that. Finally, the star of the show, the Jersey Caramels. If you've never heard of these, then you're not Australian and you share something in common with Wikipedia. They're a chewy, taffy-like fudge with a white stripe through the middle, which are very caramelly. Ooh hoo hoo. Okay, these are very good. <laughs> they aren't in the recipe, so I'm just gonna throw the whole lot in for good measure. And that's it, time to get cooking. First off, grab a pan and spin the long way round. To make sure that nothing burns, we're going to need a medium heat. Do check that you know how your hot making machine works. There we go. Now you're cooking without gas. Before adding the butter, make sure you unwrap it, then just throw it straight in. This might take a while, so maybe find something else to do whilst you're waiting. Joining the Clean Bench Club, for example. I got bored, so I've grabbed a spoon. Maybe that'll speed things up. Or maybe eating the fudge will. Mmm, fudge. Waiting for this butter to melt is much like living in isolation. The important thing you're doing is waiting, but you're desperately trying to figure out what else you could do at the same time. Stick with it though, and eventually you'll have a whole load of melted butter. To which, I'm going to add those Jersey caramels before they all get eaten. I'm, I'm kind of making this bit up here. Jen used to have these as a kid, and I'm guessing that we'll want the caramels in before the marshmallows. More ASMR, anyone? It might take a while, but eventually the fudge will homogenize though apparently not with the butter. While we're waiting on that, shall I make up a dance for you? Maybe a TikTok or something? Another time. Now these bad boys, and all we need to do is open them up. But I, can you just? Ugh. These are pretty sturdy buggers. You could build with these. I think I know why you don't build with these. Then just chuck them in the pot, before immediately realising that was a terrible idea and oik them out again whilst buttering your own fingers. Alternatively, you could chop them up into smaller pieces to make them easier to melt. They don't build quite as well that way though. Now we can pop them in the pot. And so continues the waiting game. Whilst waiting, prep a tray to mould them in. Prepped. Seriously though, greasing or lining the tray with baking paper will help. The Jersey caramels make this mix very sticky. 
If you wanted to repeat this recipe exactly as I have, around now is when you'll want your phone to stop filming without warning you, forcing you to repeat the entire thing with pink marshmallows. Once very runny, add the puffed rice a little at a time. As you can see, the white mallow and jersey mix is a little tricky to work with. Now, my pink mix wasn't nearly as hard to handle as the white mix was, but no matter how yours comes out, a trick you might find useful is wetting your hands a little before patting it down into the mold. After you get your camera working again, you can add a little something extra on top if you like. I'm going for Jen's favorite, the caramel M&Ms. When ready, let the whole thing chill in the coolest spot in the house. Back to that whole isolation problem again. What to do, what to do? Clean. After as long as you can bear it, grab the sugar high back out of the fridge. Beautiful. Here comes some ASMR again. I made these ones pretty big, but they are good. Make yours whatever size makes you happy. And there you have it. Jersey Caramel Rice Krispie Squares. I do hope she likes them. Anyway, ha. Oh my God, that is so pink. <laughs>